handsome mint, an artist from Burma, sings in front of his paintings to honor those who fight for justice. This painting satirized the Burmese government failed to maintain a stable monetary system, and this one protests against the house arrest of the Nobel Peace Prize laureate Do Aung San Suu Kyi. This is an exhibition in Hong Kong called "Bond in Burma: Painting Under Censorship." Most of the paintings here have either been banned or encountered issues with the censors in Burma. The pieces include abstractions, news, political allegories, and the paintings with a great amount of certain colors. And it's when、uh, artists who tended to use a lot of red, white, or black would find their work censored, even if, again, they were doing apolitical pieces. But、um, the censors,、uh, especially. Before 1988, viewed red as being symbolic of, say, blood or revolution. Then, post 1988,、uh, red had an added sort of weight because it was a prominent color in the NLD flag, which is Aung San Suu Kyi's、uh, political party. From the 1960s to three years ago, Burma was under a military rule. The military government issued a law to censor the visual art, but last year, the law has finally been abolished. The one thing that we do know has happened is that you no longer have to apply for a license. So in the past, if you wanted to put on a public exhibition, you had to invite the censors in. So the first thing you did was you hung the show, you invited the censors, and then they decided whether it was okay or not.、So、you no longer need to do that. So that has changed. But you may still be censored. They may still come by and say, "Well, we don't like that painting." It seems that one thing that's changed very much is the nudity. Uh, has become the core of censorship. Quite a special piece in the exhibit. It's by one of our only female painter. She spent the past 18 years painting nudes. She had spent so many years sort of being censored, and oftentimes the censors would ask her to either place cloth or paper, kind of to, on the more、um, delicate areas. You know, one exhibit. She decided, okay, I'm going to not have to mess with the censors anymore on these issues, and I'm just going to drape black cloth around my painting. Sam Min is another Burmese artist whose works have been censored in Burma. He completed this painting in 2003, but it has never been exhibited in Burma until today. In this painting, he wants to express the vanity of the rich and powerful people under the military rule. Although we are the development of our. Uh, the social in my in our minds, they are not good, like animal. I just think any whether it's Hong Kong or Bangkok or any city around the world,、um, New York, this collection is interesting for people to take you know to to look at because right in front of you you have an example of、um, a censored work and you you get a, a little glimpse at what it was like as an artist working under a government that really had a strict kind of state censorship. Um, policy in place. Perhaps it'll make you appreciate what what you have,、um, and also think again about what these artists have been up again,、uh, up against, and the fact、um, that they're still painting today. I mean, it happens to be a very special time in Hong Kong. We didn't know that when we were planning this exhibition. We started work on it nearly a year ago, and we fixed these dates months ago. And then suddenly, there's the whole Occupy movement, scholarism, everything else.、Um, so. You know, some of the paintings in this exhibition, some of what's going on in this exhibition, are precisely about political control. Burma had an 8888 movement in 1988. You know, students were on the street. It was a student-led movement. In 2007, we have paintings here that are also reflecting that the Saffron Revolution, the Saffron Uprising,、uh, which was that that was led by monks. But again, there was a demand for. More political,、uh, a, a greater political voice for the people. Burma, Myanmar, it fits in the middle of all of that. It's got real authoritarianism now moving towards democracy. It's all of that is reflected here. So I think Hong Kong people can find it easy to find something in this show.